Hello everyone! For the first DIY I'm going to be showing you how I made this crushed glass canvas. Let's go ahead and get started. I began by spray painting the top half of my canvas white using this spray paint. Make sure to paint the edges as well. I am using a 16 by 20 canvas. Using this spray paint I painted the bottom half of my canvas black. I covered up the top half with a poster board so it didn't get any paint on it. And then I let that dry. Once it was dried I grabbed my Mod Podge and I spread a thick layer right across the middle of the canvas. Using a large foam brush, I'm going to spread it up and down like this, creating peaks. It's up to you what design you want to do. For my design, I chose to make larger peaks in the center of the canvas. You want to make sure to spread the glue kind of evenly and not have too much in one section. Once I was happy with my design, I grabbed some of this Ashland decorative filler that is basically crushed glass and mirror. And I spread that all over my Mod Podge area in an even layer. By the way, I bought this at Michael's. For extra sparkle, I'm going to add some fine silver glitter as well. Then I'm just going to shake off the excess and let that dry. Once that was dried, I added more Mod Podge to the center of my canvas. This is to add more sparkle to my canvas and also to cover up the line where the black and white paint meet. After putting down my Mod Podge, I added another layer of crushed glass and glitter. And then I shaked off the excess and let that dry. Once that had dried, I added a thin layer of Mod Podge to my design to prevent any of the crushed glass and glitter from falling. Once that Mod Podge dried, this is how it looked. And now I can touch it and none of the glass or glitter falls off the canvas. For my second DIY, I grabbed one of these tall cylinder bases from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put some tape on it so that I can spray paint the bottom half of my cylinder black.
I'm using the same black spray paint I used for my canvas. I did two coats of spray paint on my base and then I removed the tape. Once my paint had dried, I took some E6000 glue and I used it to basically recreate the same kind of design I made on my canvas. I just made small peaks going up and down as you can see here. Then I took my crushed glass and I spread it all over the glue. And then I sprinkled on some glitter. Then I just took a brush and cleaned off the excess glitter that fell on my base. And now I'm just going to wait for my glue to dry. And this is how it ended up looking. You can use it as both a candle holder or a flower base. Thank you so much for watching today's video.